Morning, everybody. This is Rick Geiler with Silverside Insurance Marketing here in sunny Tempe, Arizona. And I have on the line our presenter today is Sean Schatzberger. He's the regional sales manager at Sagicor Life Insurance Company. And he's going to give us an overview of some of the new things that they're working with on their single premium life platform, including the automated underwriting decision in one to two minutes with Accelerating 2.0. Uh, we also have some uh, new, new videos, marketing pieces, including retail marketing pieces, and several things that I think you're going to find useful when presenting this to your clients. So without further ado, I'll get it over to Sean. Sean, thanks for being with us today. Good morning, Rick, and good morning, everyone. My name is Sean Schatzberger, Regional Sales Manager with Sagicor Life Insurance Company. And as Rick mentioned, we are here to talk about Accelerating 2.0. But before we get started, I think a good place to always begin is by telling you a little bit about Sagicor. This could be your first time having any exposure to Sagicor, or for even some of those that are already doing business with us, which I thank you for. You may not know some of these important facts about the company itself. Let's begin with the simple little known fact that we are one of the oldest insurance carriers in the Americas. We have been in business now for more than 175 years. Today, we're in 22 countries around the world, including the United States, where we're AMS rated A-, minus, A- minus excellent. We're licensed to do business in 45 states, including the District of Columbia. The, the question that always comes up, as you know, Rick, Statcor. What does that name mean? Or where did it come from? Up until 2002, we were a mutual company, Barbados Mutual. Yes, our roots are in the Caribbean, and they come to play in our corporate branding as well. The blue and the green that you'll see always in our marketing literature represent the Caribbean waters. But as we demutualized and became a publicly traded stock company, which our stock trades on the London Stock Exchange, we had to come up with another name. So we came up with the name Sagicor from two words, sage meaning wise and core meaning the heart or judgment. That's why you also see in our marketing literature as a part of our branding, wise financial thinking for life. But on to the big show here because we've got a lot to talk about in the next 30 minutes, not least of which, as Rick pointed out, Accelerating 2.0. What exactly is that? Well, let me scoot down to the bottom. For those of you that are already doing business with Sagicor, you may be familiar with our automated underwriting system, which takes the information entered in a short-form application and then upon submission pulls simultaneously from multiple databases, including MIB and Telescript, Insurance Activity, and MVR to process a final underwriting decision across three simplified issue products, that is periodic, recurring premium products, term, full life, and no lapse universal life. As a part of the upgrade, which took place a little over a week ago, we added two features for the periodic premium products, and we're not here to talk about those today, but I want to make sure you're aware of these changes just in case they're of interest to you. One is we added list billing, a huge thing, especially if you do any worksite marketing business, payroll deductions, etc. But we also added the ability to sell the children's term rider on all three of those products. But the big part of the story, and Rick can tell you, because this is an industry first right here, an automated underwriting system for single premium whole life. Works in a similar fashion to those uh, products that I just mentioned, uh, but the big highlight here, it doesn't matter whether it's periodic premium or single premium whole life, the value of that technical speak I gave you is that it saves you time, which is money. How does it save you time? Number one, it's auto adjudication for simplified issue and non-medical products. Non-medical is what single premium whole life products have always been underwritten at Satchport, but it also eliminates the need for telephone interviews. Rick, you and I both know there hasn't been a good one invented, meaning telephone interviews. They're typically long. They're cumbersome. Mm -hmm. And talk about client control. Get somebody on the phone and get them talking. We all know mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to get them to stop, and, and unfortunately, oftentimes they go into an area then that ultimately uh, precludes them from coverage within a particular underwriting program, especially non-medical. But we are going to tell you uh, all about these products because we have two single premium whole life products, and this is not, again, this is not going to be a technical demonstration of the platform. We will show you some snippets so you get a feel and idea of how it works, but we'll have 
future webinars at the national level with Sagicor. So be on the lookout for invitations or uh, if you're interested, of course, reach out. Uh, to our value partners at Silverside Insurance Marketing. But what Rick and I always like to talk about is where does this product fit? Uh, who's a ga good candidate for it and why? Um, so let's go ahead and move on uh, to that conversation. And the best place to go to right here is, is an overview of these two products. And, and we've got some basic information. We'll talk a little bit more about underwriting in a moment. But let's just focus there, center page, uh, if we could. Now, where exactly does this product fit? Well, when you think about an annuity sale, if you're having a conversation with your client, the question uh, or line of questions is rather simple. Is it an income need now, later, or never? If it's income now, perhaps it's be an income later, a pure cash accumulation product like a Sage Select, high liquidity, 4% uh, bonus vested day one. Yes, Rick, I got a plug in there for the Sage Select. Or, like that. Uh, of course, it, it could be an accumulation product that has a guaranteed lifetime withdrawal benefit. But as we know, if it's an income later story, that's a legacy story. And I am here to tell you that these products fit in that gray area. It's for someone who has a lump sum of money and they don't know if it's for income later or income never. And, and this product bridges not only that gap between traditional life insurance and annuities from a a product solution standpoint, but also because this is non-medically underwritten. And again, an instant decision with one to two minutes of submission without even the need to meet with the client. So we do have two versions of the product. So I'm just going to scoot down here a little bit so we can see that from the top uh, so we know which one is which because the products are very similar, if not the same, but there are some key differences, uh, not least of which is with the index version of the product, we have a lower issue age, 18 versus 45, but maximum issue age is 85. This really is an accept or decline model, folks. By that, I mean we only have two risk classes. You can see right there before you, standard tobacco and non-tobacco, okay? And, and this is a product, so you know from an underwriting perspective, it has a table for incorporated. So that's as far as you can cast that net out. Of course, you can somebody's a better house, uh, of course they'll qualify for coverage, but do keep in mind as you delve into that table four or beyond, a great time to reach out to our underwriting team. I'm not sure how you can do that. Again, uh, very unique right there. Uh, also, just a reminder, we, uh, of course, are in listed-only mode, so as questions come up, please use the chat function, and Rick and I will do our best to get to those before the end of today's webinar. But uh, as you can see, again, two versions, interest-sensitive and index. We have index crediting strategies, which I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about in a moment. You'll see the, the strength and the consistency of our crediting rates. But with the index version, we've got a 2% guaranteed crediting rate, and we'll see that in the illustration where, uh, again, folks, some confusion comes up. This is a whole life product. So what you see in the illustration, this is the beauty of it. On, on the guaranteed side of the ledger illustration, it is guaranteed. But the minimum guaranteed interest rate for the interest sensitive, 3%. Now, the kicker, and this is why we sell four times as much indexed as we do interest sensitive, is because of that 10% bonus down there at the bottom. That is credited day one. That is vested day one. There's no clawback on that, folks. Uh, for those of you that are wondering how do, how do commissions work, well, here's the value of bringing perhaps a better solution to the table for your client than, than a typical annuity. This pays close to twice as much, and we've got a sort of a surprise uh, for some of you towards the end of talking a little bit more about commissions, but we'll see that to the end so you, you all stay on. But the big, big, big part of this story, and then this is what makes it a notepad sale, it's a cocktail napkin sale. This is not a very complex story, folks, because it's in the numbers. And one of the most important numbers that you'll see in the illustration is right there before you. It's the inherent benefit rider. It's no additional cost, no additional qualification, chronic illness benefit. And, and we'll dive deeper into that. But it is a tax-qualified indemnity-based benefit. Uh, speaking of which, Rick, uh, enough with the talking, I guess. Let, let's go ahead and show them how this okay. works, but I'm going to make a quick stop here uh, because I did mention the interest crediting strategies. You can see these right here up at the top. With our index product, you have four choices to choose from. You have a declared rate at 3.5%. Oh, yeah, folks, look at that at the top. I know that's going to uh, – some of you are scratching their head. Is Sean using old data there, or is that old hand up? No. That is the consistency and the strength of our product. 
unlike a lot of our competition who are, are walking away from this amazing product line, because again, it, it does offer quite a uh, quite a few more uh, benefits than than a typical annuity or even a CD for that matter. But again, consistency right up there at the top. That's the last time we updated our interest crediting rate. So again, consistency. The S and P 500. That's 100 percent participation with a seven percent cap. We've got a global look back strategy. Okay, and in that, that is the best two out of three uh, indices bucket where we've got the Russell 2000, the Hang Seng, and the Euro Stocks 50, 60% allocated to the first uh, or best performing uh, indice, 40% to the second, and the least or worst performing thrown out. And again, I, four ways to allocate. Everybody will see in the illustration, the 2% is guaranteed on the current assumption side ledger illustration. But you look at the interest sensitive here, you've got 4%, the declared rate, you're two on at 3%, that's guaranteed, folks. And then, of course, you have the minimum interest rate at 3%. Now, some folks have already asked, how do we get these handouts? Well, a new feature uh, in the last year or so for GoToWebinar is the ability for us to supply you with handouts. So not to worry, folks, if you if you see that, those handouts, the way it works is you double-click them, and then you can save them to your desktop or, or file folder on your computer. We're also, for those of you that, that aren't necessarily technologically sophisticated, we're sending the link out for you, and you're going to have access to uh, most of these materials, including uh, some fantastic resources to work with clients. But when you look at this ledger illustration, this one right there, look, give me one second. I know what's going on, Rick. It's hard to change things when you got the bouncy meatball as your pointer, so here we are to the illustration, but I'll get the meatball back because that's going to be important to follow along. Now think about it, folks. What, what's the shortcoming of an annuity? And the reality is that we know most annuities actually pass in the form of a death benefit. Uh, the, the downside to an annuity is that the death benefit is not income tax-free. It is taxable based on income in respect to the decedent, so not at the policy owner's tax bracket, but rather at the beneficiary's tax bracket. So it's not necessarily a very efficient wealth transfer vehicle out there. It's, again, better suited for uh, income now or income later. But what I want to show you is with this product, it helps to address your client's needs associated with mortality, morbidity, longevity. Yes, this is not something you have to necessarily die to win uh, in the form of a death benefit or get sick to be able to take advantage of the chronic illness benefit, but it's there if you, either one if you need them. But also, this is a product that you can look your client straight in the eye and say, if you change your mind today, you change your mind tomorrow or a year or years from now, you'll get back no less than what you started because the return of premium feature that comes with this product, that return of premium is available day one, which is becoming more and more unique. Again, Silverside can do uh, a, a great job of comparing us relative to the competition, highlighting our strengths. But the one thing I want to begin is by showing you a little bit about this product on the ledger illustration. And our client, imaginary client, John Doe, male 65, standard on tobacco. What does he get for entrusting us with $100,000 of his hard-earned money? Well, as I said before, for the index version, to the index, 50%, excuse me, 50% to the S&P 500, 50% to the global basket. But the number, these are end of year values on the current side of the ledger illustration. The death benefits more than a double. There's this thing called the chronic illness benefit. This is one of the strongest, best benefits in the industry. And, and I'll show you the claims form, and that's part of the story when it comes to that benefit. But the way it works is we'll pay out as much as $250,000 based on the lesser of two values. So the death benefit less $25,000 and a one-time administrative fee of $100. Why are we deducting $25,000? It's canceled if you tri trigger the chronic illness benefit. And then we take that value and we divide it by 33 months. And that's what's payable. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with terms like indemnity-based, tax-qualified, uh, simply put, it means that the benefit is income tax-free. The check goes out to the policy owner once the insured has qualified, and speaking of that has sold something and have to go through the claims process, let's go ahead and take a look at that claims form just for a quick moment. How do you qualify? It is this simple. One page or one side of one page for the client to complete. After the policy has been enforced for one year, they elect or select the two of six activity da of activities of daily living. There may be more. could be all six, but just at least two with the premise that whatever caused that condition to occur, 
going to continue for at least 90 days. One-time qualification, folks, and you can see it, that form right there. So that's for the client to complete. And then, oh, yeah, there is an attending physician statement. It's not the Sagicor physician. It is the client's doctor right there. The form looks almost identical. It's one side of one page, and then you are on your way to getting, in this example here, as much as 540 excuse me, $5,443, a little bit more than $500, uh, over 33 months, again, with a remainder death benefit of $25,000 always. Now, we talked about what if I die? What if I get sick? Novel idea is what if I just live like an annuity, very much like an annuity, because this is a modified endowment contract. The, the growth within the policy, the accumulation value or the cash surrender value, is growing on a tax deferred basis. Now, with this product, you can take we already talked about return premiums. You can surrender the policy at any time, and the client can get their money back, at least their money back. But you can also take withdrawals. You can take policy loans from this. Now, when you do take a distribution from it, getting back to an annuity because it's a modified endowment contract, it's going to be taxed last in, first out. But as you can see, again, the power of tax deferral right there, end of year one value, $111,566. Just a reminder, John Doe started with $100,000. Oh, yeah, this, this does have a surrender charge period. It's a 10-year product. But look, again, because the return premium option there, you've got a cash surrender value equal to what you started with. Now, for those of you that are wondering what would happen to your commissions if the client surrenders the policy in year one or two, well, if it's surrendered in year one, it's 100% chargeback. Year two, it's 50%. And after two years, it is out of chargebacks for you. So the real benefit, again, for this product is the ability to address multiple issues, whether it's mortality, morbidity, longevity, and, of course, along with flexibility with the return premium option. Uh, over here, just real quick, the guaranteed values, as we remember from our licensing exams, guaranteed values, maximum cost of insurance, minimum guaranteed crediting rate, and, again, with this product, 2%. So even here on the guaranteed value side of the ledger illustration, very, very strong values to show your client. So do keep that in mind. Uh, as you present this. Now, part of the story, as we know, as we discussed, is the accelerating system. So we are going to give you a quick glance of, of what that looks like and, and how that works and why. So let's go ahead and hop into that. And, and this is really easy. Uh, again, this is in the handouts here. This is the process for sure. This is the Bible. It gives you the seven steps of accelerating. And, and what it does here is it tells you the first step is pre-qualify your client. So they have to be able to say no to the following nine knockout questions in order to at least initially qualify for coverage. Step two, again, this doesn't take a whole lot of time. A unisex bill table predicated upon mail bills. So we've got minimums and maximums, okay? So if we had a client, John Doe, age 65, 5'10", 180 pounds, well, we see that the minimum weight's 115, and at 180 pounds certainly would qualify uh, almost, well, 110,000, excuse me, 110 pounds less than the maximum weight. So we'd be good to go there. Step three, we look at the ineligible prescription drug list. These are the red drugs, folks. And so if somebody's taking morphine, for example, they've got a serious medical condition. So uh, obviously it would be in excess of a table four rating. But as I mentioned before, when in doubt, reach out. They're right there on the rating team. We don't hide them. We don't keep them sequestered in an undisclosed location. They're available, 888-SAGICOR, extension 4650, depending upon where you're calling from today. I'll keep it simple for everybody. Right now, we are in Eastern Standard Time, so we have coverage from 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. And, of course, when we go to Daylight Savings Time, we're going to add an hour to that. So 8 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so, or excuse me, uh, Daylight Savings Time. So regardless of where you are in, in the country, great coverage there. But a lot of this, because it is really simple and straightforward, we're not going to take uh, or make too much of the underwriting, but we've got different conditions and impairments with the best possible outcome. So right here, somebody's got a particular condition or back to those red drugs, the ineligible prescription drug list, really simple. You know, you do a stop right there. And again, when in doubt, reach out to our underwriting team. We also, of course, for those of you that are already doing business, you know all about our Producer Resource Center. Uh, they are the Swiss Army knife. They're one-stop shopping for all your needs. So they can also help you with some basic underwriting questions, illustration needs. And as we get into this demonstration here real quick, we'll show you a little bit about the, the, the system, right? Uh, Rick, we're not selling steak here. We're selling sizzle. 
and, and so we want to show you how easy that platform is. It's not very difficult, but after you get a handle on whether or not the client's going to qualify, because again, this is an accepted or decline model, you run the illustration. Step five, you complete the application. I did say short form application. Step six, you get the underwriting decision back. One to two minutes on submission because it's going to pull my, uh, simultaneously from multiple data databases. Again, real benefit here is that no telephone interview. You keep it mono and mono between you, your client, or prospect, and you get a decision back that quick. And again, it's something that you can do over the phone because this system is available 365 days a year, 24-7 with the occasional updates. But guess what? We do those updates usually on the weekend. They're late at night, so they're not going to interfere with your business. Now, obviously, it can be approved as applied for. It can be declined, and it can be referred to underwriting. Okay? Referred to underwriting is not a bad thing. Uh, the reason why is because we'll take it out of production, and we'll see if we can't rescue that case for you to help it get it placed. Last but not least, deliver the policy and get paid. For those of you that are already doing some term business with us, you know that uh, late last year we introduced e-policy delivery. Right now, these policies still are available in paper form, and even when we introduce e-policy delivery later on in the year, it's still going to be an option. You can either do the delivery electronically or uh, just a traditional paper policy being recognizing that obviously this is a mature market product. So, and I do want to highlight the fact, uh, I, I know most people are following along quite well, but again, this is, you can do it in person. I've been spending a lot of time emphasizing non-face-to-face. Either way, though, it does eliminate the need for telephone interviews. The one thing I would be remiss about if I didn't cover it, and I'm just going to take a moment to do that, is the fact that we will take more premium in these products than anybody else, okay? I like to say there are three ways to win with SagCore, and obviously one way to win is just that simple, easy point-of-sale decision between you and the client based on certain net amount of risk. The way we define net amount of risk, you can see right up there, it's the guaranteed death benefit amount in year one. That's on the ledger, the guaranteed side of the ledger illustration, less whatever that single premium paid was. So if it falls in these different tranches, boom, you're ready to go. If it exceeds these tranches, guess what? We're still staying with non-medical, unless it's a very, very large case, which I'll talk about in a moment. But if it exceeds it, guess what? We'll have an underwriter look at it. We may need to get an EPS, and we've already seen this is, we've had such an amazing reception. Guess what? We had one that exceeded $250,000 for a male age 65, and we were still able to place that without an APS or physical exam. Now, as we exceed these tranches, again, one of those requirements may become necessary, but as you know, sometimes as we get more information, it helps us to better understand conditions and impairments. Otherwise, that would be very difficult uh, to really get a handle on. So, again, uh, three different ways to win, the point of sale, maybe the point of sale with a review, or a point of sale with additional underwriting requirements. But again, uh, you can drill down that in the process uh, brochure. A question just came up, do we have policy loans for the, these products? Yes, absolutely, positively, we do. And one of the ways, again, you can take distributions, three ways. You can surrender policy at any time, return premium. You can take withdrawals. Remember, annuity taxation, last in, first out. And last but not least, you can take policy loans. The policy loan, because it is a match, is going to be taxable. Rick wanted to make sure you guys see this. Again, we're sending out a link afterwards, but we've got the ultimate multitasker. For those of you that don't know Rick Ryler, he looks a lot like this guy on here, except uh, Rick's more handsome than this guy. There you go. But there what you this, go. I was about what to this piece there. is, well, Rick's a huge fan of single premium life, folks, and it's no secret to us at Sagicor. Uh, Rick and his agency have, have been here with us in the U.S. day one, and there's not a bigger advocate or perhaps a better agency for you to partner with that knows not just our, our products but our processes uh, in our back office very well. So I can't say uh, enough, and I certainly thank you, Rick, and the rest of your team at Silverside for your support. But, you know, this is a great piece for you to use. Um, you know, again, the whole story here isn't about uh, leave on money. It's it's that question, is it live on or leave on? And again, because the chronic illness benefit uh, return of premium, you know, we got a lot of offer over a CD or an annuity, and that's exactly what we compare it to right here. So this is mm -hmm. a piece that is client approved, and you can pick this up by way of the follow-up email that's going to come out to you uh, after the webinar, okay? I, I can't hold back anymore, Rick. I've got to show people something here real quick. Right here. There we go. For a limited time only. Everybody we know works very hard. No one wants to work for free. And guess what? Right now, we are making sure that you aren't because we are giving you an additional 
50 basis points. It doesn't matter whether you're writing the interest sensitive or the index version of this product. You are getting an extra 50 basis points irrespective of age. Very few companies are that generous with their commission. And that's, we want you to to go ahead and give this a hard look because, again, the benefits that it brings to your client. Without further ado, Rick, let's show people you know, what this system looks like. And we'll just assume that we've already gotten in here and created an illustration. And we're going to go ahead and see what the e-application process looks like. And, and so the benefit here of our platform is it's all online. It's only accessible by way of online. Let's zoom in there a little bit more. But it, the benefit is when you come into this, the e-application, most of the data has already been taken care of for you. Then you just need to apply signatures. Uh, you can even review the application and send it to an assistant just to make sure that the information is accurate and, all, and then finalize and submit. But navigation within the system is really simple. It, navigation arrows left and right of the page. You've got a navigation window. Again, we're just going to give you a quick snippet here of the highlights of this. But the system is easy. Anything highlighted in red, needs attention. As a matter of fact, everything's hyperlinked. So if we wanted to go ahead and move to section one, we could do that. Now, when we see a balloon in the upper right-hand corner, this is indicative of a page that has some information outstanding. Guess what? There's no Easter egg hunt. That's that's next month, right, Rick? Uh, or actually, I'm sorry, I'm skipping ahead. We're still in February, so in April. But you get the idea. So if you click on that red balloon, and it'll emphasize and highlight the fields along with the format in which the information needs to en be entered. And I can tell you, it, nothing gets more labor intensive than section one. In section one, this is where you're going to have to do the typing. But even within this section, you can see there are a lot of drop downs, check the boxes, so on and so forth. So completing the application is a very simple, easy. If somebody answers uh, yes to some of the additional medical and personal history questions, the benefit of this system is the smart system. It's going to populate a secondary line of questions reflexive or drill down questions so that we better understand the condition or impairment so we can avoid uh, moving on to additional underwriting requirements and certainly avoid saying no to someone when they're of good health. Uh, so that's a little bit about what the application looks like. Now, what people usually like to see is how does the e-signature process work and, and look like? And, and so here it, it really is simple. You just elect to use the e-signature. And again, we have two options. You can either sign now or Sign later, as we'll see here for the insured. We only use sign now for face-to-face -face with the clients if we're over the phone or at arm's length, whatever the case may be. You send them an email request, and what it'll do is it'll send a, a what otherwise is a uh, blanket uh, email through the system that'll be coded to you, meaning it looks like it comes from you, so it won't be like Sagic or LifeUSA.com. In, in this case, our agent's Franklin Hall, so it looks like it come, comes from Franklin. And then what the client does is they use the last four digits of their social security number and date of birth. What's really cool about the system, again, 24-7, 365. So it's available not only for the client when it's convenient to do business, but also for you. So it really gives you uh, some leeway there. Um, the system also generates a secondary password just in case people can't remember the last four digits of their social security number and date of birth. You can actually send that to them in a separate email. But what the system does is it sends them this email invitation, and it's really simple. If they click on the link there, it goes, gets them right into the system, and then they begin to review uh, the application for accuracy. And, and as they do so, they're reviewing the different pages of each section, and then they check a box, and they move on to the next. I mean, this is a very robust system. You can look at the application in PDF form. You can contact the agent through the system. But again, we're now looking at this from the client's perspective. So they just go through this process of reviewing the application. And what's really neat is that when the client reviews the application, again, in this moment, we're assuming that we're not face-to-face. -face. You don't have to call up the client or pester them and ask, have you signed it? Have you reviewed and signed the application? Because once they do, it's going to send you a notification that the application has been completed. Now, I'm going to show you actually what it looks like when you get a decision back. Now, keep in mind, this is for one of our triage premium products where we have multiple risk classes. But I just want to show you how this, the, the pop-up occurs and where you can find the underwriting decision in the system. And as Rick uh, also knows, our producer resource center really just is amazing. So uh, for one of our triage premium products, th this actually came back in an example I used where the client was approved preferred non-tobacco. Again, for these single premium products, it's standard non-tobacco. Standard tobacco are the only two available risk classes. So as we begin to wrap things up, I'm going to throw it back to you, Rick, for 
questions, uh, closing comments? Yeah, I got a couple things here that I think would be useful for everybody. Here on this piece and a standalone piece, you see click here for the uh, producer video. Uh, about uh, what, there we go. That is uh, that's a very useful piece. Everybody will. Uh, it's worth your few minutes to watch that. That gives you not only an overview of how it works, but it also gives you a couple ideas on how you might present it to a client. So. Keep this thing handy, uh, take a look at it, and always keep the uh, PRC number, the producer resource number handy. Make sure before you go out to take an application that you have access to the system, that your training and your credentials and everything are up to date, and that you're good to go. They can check on that for you in a matter of seconds usually. So. Uh, Get, get that squared away and also do your field underwriting. That uh, process brochure Sean showed earlier with some of the knockouts, with some of the, some of the critical medications that are going to cause you trouble, critical conditions that are going to cause you trouble. Go through that with your folks. Uh, make sure there's no surprises. Uh, the, the automated underwriting system is very thorough. If, if people have some of those conditions, whether they check yes or no, it's going to find them. So that, that, in a nutshell, would be my feedback for you. Great job presenting today, Sean. I can't believe you got through that much stuff in half an hour. Uh, but I've heard you do it before, so I guess I'm not shocked. Well, I appreciate that, Rick. And because, again, the special relationship we have uh, at Sagicor with Silverside Insurance Marketing, we are going to be sending you a follow-up email. And thank you for attending. And within that email, there's going to be a link. Click on the link. You're going to get a, a beautiful walk-on video, commentary. It, you're going to have additional resources uh, it, as well as more information on these products, uh, not least to which, of course, is this ultimate multitasker tool. Um, I, I always like to compare the Producer Resource Center to the Swiss Army Knife, but keep in mind, uh, the same can be said true because, again, this really is a product like a Swiss Army knife that is a multitasker because of the, the addressing the needs associated with mortality, morbidity, longevity, uh, along with the added flexibility of return of premium. So really a highly, highly competitive product. Now, for those of you that are on this webinar, you're not appointed with Sagicor, the best way to get started is to reach out to Silverside Insurance Marketing today. In terms of appointment times, typically somewhere between five to seven business days. That's all the time that's holding you back from getting appointed because this is an online process. So you're going to want to get appointed first so you get that immediate underwriting decision when sitting right there with your client or, or on the phone with them. So, again, reach out to Silverside Insurance Marketing today. Rick, if you'd like, I'll flip the screen back to you so that you can, uh, again, show people how to get in touch with you and your office and your great team today. Thank you, Sean, and I'll encourage everybody too. Depending on what state you're in, this is this product. Is, both products are fairly widely available, but there are a few uh, a few holes uh, where they're available. Uh, make sure that you're pitching something that you can actually sell to your client in your state of jurisdiction. So, with that, thank you so much, everybody. Again, you'll be getting follow-up emails with more information. In the meantime, go ahead and give us a call if we can help with anything, 480-998-1286. Thank you so much, Sean. Great job today. Thank you, Rick, and thank our audience for taking out the time to hear this important message.